Hi there folks, my name is NovaWing24 and welcome to the Nova Wrap, your one-stop location for your simulation release news and goings on from the week that was. So here we are on Sunday the 23rd of February 2020 to jump straight into all of the simulation releases and we're going to kick straight off with a release from the team at Just Flight for Aerofly FS2, namely their release of the Falke SF25. Now this is an interesting little aircraft. I've seen this pop up. I, I'm pretty sure it was for X Plane 11. I've seen this pop up before from another developer. Um, and it's an intriguing little concept, actually. So it's a uh, it's a tried and tested German design. Um, and and German aviation has for for centuries, really. I, 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 well, maybe maybe not centuries, but definitely for at least a good hundred years anyway. Um, has loved gliding, and the the sport of gliding has been very very big in Germany. Um, and this is actually the result of, and, and the Falke SF25 is a, essentially actually is just a motorized glider. So instead of having to require a tow aircraft to get it up to altitude, it actually powers itself up there and then you switch the engine off and you actually enjoy the feeling of soaring with the birds. Which by the way, for anyone who has um, not gone gliding, there is a weird, surreal, but incredibly liberating feeling about actually flying in an aircraft with no engine. Um, it's at the same time both incredibly liberating and incredibly terrifying. Um, so I do highly recommend it. I, I've only got a couple of hours of gliding experience myself um, as a passenger, not as a pilot, um, but it was the most perplexing but incredible experience of my life so yeah highly recommend it anyway moving on i digress so uh just like have released their rendition uh initially for aerofly fs2 which is um interesting for them as i said they, they they're one of the few developers that seems to be actively producing content for aerofly fs2 uh, as i alluded to in in the in the past aerofly fs2 seems to have a a, a this very interesting sort of development cycle at the moment and I, and I really hope that IPAX address the community and the content sooner rather than later because at the moment there's a lot of, there's actually a lot of momentum happening so if for example as we saw in last week's episode we saw the the freeware links become available and this week we've got the um the motorized gl glider come out from from just flight now in this rendition um, they give us a highly accurate rendition of three different types of the 2C glider. Um, so we get the Bravo, the Charlie and the Echo model. So the Bravo model is the base variant which is, has the Limbach 1700A engine. Um, the Charlie variant has a two main gear setup and a larger more capable 2000A in Limbic engine. And then the Echo model is one that's designed for longer soaring times and has a wingspan that's almost double that of its uh, B and C counter parts. Um, each aircraft includes a separate sound set, separate model, and their separate flight dynamics. They all behave differently, all behave as they do with the, uh, or close to their uh, close to their real life counterparts. And as they're all designed to be produced and coming off really, really well. So they do look absolutely stunning in the sim. Um, and and I, and I think really that this is actually a really good sim for them to do it because uh, and as we've talked about before in the sim, uh, Aerofly FS2 very much is very very popular with VR pilots because of the fact that it seems to be designed for that space more than anything else. Um, so it's a it's an interesting sort of uh, take on it. Now um, there is also it was released it was announced as well that there they do have a prepared V4 edition uh, in development. No ETA on when we can expect they come out to prepared skies um, but it is interesting that they are coming out when they are bringing it over to that platform as well so it's interesting that Aeroflow was the lead platform for this aircraft uh, rather than usually the other way around that Just Flight have done in the past so there you go Otherwise, this aircraft is available now from Just Flight for the standard price of the GA aircraft of $42 US or the original equivalent available now from Just Flight. Moving on with other flight sim releases and moving to the world of X-Plane 11, the guys at V-Sky Labs have finally come out with their highly anticipated rendition of their Robinson R66 turbine helicopter simulation this week. Uh, so this one is a... They've been hinting at this for, I want to say... At least six months. Uh, probably the guys of Helisimmer.com will probably be uh, more accurate. We'll know how long they've been hinting it for it. Uh, but the team of Labs have really gone through and got an incredibly detailed um, 
uh, work of the uh, to do the most realistic version of the Robinson R66 that they possibly could. Um, now, and and to that end as well, it's interesting to note as well. So this does form part of their test pilot um, range of uh, very accurate aircraft. Uh, and what it also is, is it's actually designed to take advantage of the latest uh, updates of X Plane 11. So you do require a minimum of X Plane 11.40 or higher, and it will also require you to use the experimental flight model environment, which is very interesting as well, which doesn't isn't enabled by default uh, in your X-Plane 11 sim so you will have to make sure you do check that one in there as well now what that does is that gives them access to more helicopter accurate flight dynamics and flights and, and the flight simulation and uh, including and also includes updated and it lever sorry not includes but it leverages off X planes updated modeling of free turbine of turbine engines as well. So to actually allow a more accurate rendition of the um, R uh, uh, the RR three hundred turboshaft engine that powers this uh, helicopter. Now, as I said, it's got a full modeling of all systems, including the, the main drive system, hydraulics controls, anti-ice, uh, all avionics are all done in, in highly details as well. It is fully auto-rotation capable in x 11 with this experimental flight model as well, which is a pretty big deal for those who are wanting to get make it as real as you can get. Um, and uh, it gives there, it also uses Robinson's later advanced panel, which is a combination of both analog and digital gauges. Uh, full accurate rendition of the auxiliary fuel system and a G1000 included as well. It also includes a basic auto uh, helicopter autopilot as well, which is always seems weird to me talking about helicopters and autopilots. But anyway, moving on. Uh, also does support full uh, has full support for the Avitab compatibility um, if you have the plugin available and um, is uh, also includes some updates as well so and so it also includes the use of the fmod sound pack so this one's looking pretty damn incredible pretty damn awesome i know the helicopter pilots are absolutely raving about this there's uh, this so you'll, you'll be a good company if you do pick it pick this one up you're looking at paying about 34 us dollars or your original equivalent available now from v sky labs Continuing on with aircraft releases for X-Plane 11, Carinado have continued bringing their content over from the ESP platform for X-Plane 11. Uh, their latest release was being the C-90 King Air over onto X-Plane 11. Uh, so this update uh, gives a full, uh, basically is a port over of their, is, is not just a port over from the ESP one, but includes a full update to the 3D model and full implementation of internal and external PBR texturing as well. Includes customized FMOD sound, sound set as well, along with the Carinados Pro Line 21 included as well, along with also maintaining compatibility with Reality XP's GTN 750 as well. Update of flight dynamics and flight physics as well to make sure that it flies as accurately as possible. Uh, and does also support rain effects as well for if you do have the Libran, uh, Lib Rain plugin as well. So kind of cool, kind of awesome to set up for that. Uh, now that one's available uh, from Carinado. Standard price, 38 US dollars or your original equivalent available now from Carinado. If you all with X-Plane 11 releases, the guys over at uh, Sim Coders have been very busy and they've come out with their latest of their reality expansion pack series, this time taking on Thoranda's Quest Kodiak this time as well. Now, the Quest Kodiak, I always find an interesting airplane, like every time I see it, I keep thinking it, it's it's either a uh, uh, an air van, a GA8 air van, or it's a Cessna caravan, but it's not, it's its own aircraft, but it's, anyway, moving on, this is my own thing. Uh, so, it's so in their latest release, as I said for the rally expansion Thoranda Quest Kodiak. Um, now what they've done is they've done like they do with all of their expansion projects. Um, they've done a complete overhaul of the flight dynamics to make it more accurate to real world data. Uh, included um, updated a whole slew of the onboard systems and made a lot more of the uh, a lot more failures possible and more likely if you treat the aircraft badly. Uh, includes a range of extra tools as well and a range of updated sound effects as well. And includes as I said updated flight and ground dynamics as well. Um, the complex damage system has been included as well. It also includes an ec uh, an economic system as well to be able to uh, use into FS economy. Um, if you uh, if you do, are one of those people that do enjoy uh, that kind of uh, simulation, it's in there as well. It also overhauls the engine logic and the engine um, systems to make it more in line with an actual PT6 engine as well. So uh, including the enhanced version introduced with X-Plane 11.4. So there you go. Pretty cool and awesome. Uh, as a whole slew of features coming through there. Pretty damn awesome. Everybody who ever 
to get to a reality expansion pack always swears by them uh, and of course obviously you do need still to still have Thoranda's uh, Quest Kodiak as well um, and this one's coming in so you can expand your experience for 20 US dollars or your original equivalent available now from the explain.org store Moving on with scenery releases for X Plane 11, and this week we saw a uh, another Greece a Greek release. Uh, this time with uh, a, a the, an airport for Crete. So the release of, and I am totally going to get this wrong. Ionis Daskalogonas. I I think I've got the first part right. The second part completely balls up. Uh, so this is an international airport located um, on the Akatori Peninsula and uh, part of the island of Crete on the Greek side of the Crete Islands. Um, of, Crete, uh, of the Greek side of Crete. Uh, God, try, try, saying that, try saying that ten times quickly. Uh, includes a full high resolution custom, custom terrain mesh of the area. Inclu it also includes PBR ground textures for the area as well, which is kind of awesome. This includes highly detailed uh, ground textures and runway textures um, in the layout of the airport as it appears um, during 20, early 2019, it looks like actually. So late 2018, early 2019. Includes custom static aircrafts, H, uh, HDR lighting as we included for the three taxiway and runway lighting as well. Uh, animated vehicles and marshallers uh, with the SAM plug-in. Custom terrain mesh as I said before. Uh, full implementation of PBR textures on the ground and some buildings. HD vegetation as well as custom uh, season, uh, season adjustments supported for other add-ons including uh, Orbix Terraflora, Orbix um, True Earth Vegetation, SAM Seasons, and Auto 4 XP as well. So, a lot of stuff coming from the guys at Aerosoft for that one. Uh, coming in, pretty standard price for their scenery, coming in at $25, US or your original equivalent, available now from Aerosoft. Continuing on with scenery releases for X Plane 11, uh, the guys over at Pilot Plus have come out with their latest uh, airfield release. This one is their Wycom, uh, Wycom Air Park release, which is on the edge of, uh, edge of London. Now, interestingly, this is uh, exclusively available through Orbix. This isn't available directly through them. This one is available exclusively through Orbix, this one. So if you were normally going to Pilot Plus's website for your content, head over to the Orbix Direct store this time. Uh, now, what does this come with? So this comes with the airport um, and the nearby town and a lot of uh, VOR sort of, uh, sort of VOR VFR landmarks are included as well includes up-to-date layer of the airport as appears in 2019 full implementation of PBR texturing uh, for the ground as well as buildings. All airport buildings have been modeled accurately as well. Includes seasonal vegetation changes as well, which is kind of cool, kind of awesome. Um, doesn't obviously change the ground uh, textures, but just does change the, te the trees, which is, I suppose, is a step in the right direction. Um, includes full support for night lighting as well. Blends perfectly with Orbix's True Earth product as well. As I said, very important that it does have the VFR landmarks um, for when you're doing your circuits and doing your fly-ins. Also includes Cleveland House helipad for trips as well. So you, there is something in there for the rotary wing pilots as well. So you get your rotary, rotary wing content for the, air, for the air park and then nearby destination as well. So this one's coming in. Standard price coming in this one at about 20 US dollars or your original equivalent available now from Orbix Direct. Continuing on with X Plane 11 scenery releases, this time uh, from a uh, Skytitude, uh, which is their first release. This one of Exoflora. Um, so I, I feel like there's a there's another flora release. There's a couple of flora releases now, so this is another one. So I don't know how much this is going to be. Uh, and, and I sorry guys, I did try to look and see what the differences are. And I know there's, as I said, I know that Orbix has got one. Orbix, actually, I think they've got two actually now. Um, SFD Designs, uh, SFD Global's got one as well. So it's just, it's, there seems to be yet another tree add-on. I don't know if the market's big enough to support three, maybe four tree, on, tree add-ons, but we'll see how it goes. But apparently, though, according to the description of this one, the Exoflora is a unique vegetation tool for x 11. Uh, it replaces the default x 11, uh, default, uh, the uh, default x 11 vegetation. Oh, God, I'm getting tongue-tied again tonight. Uh, as well as includes high-resolution flora textures, different types of, different sizes, types of trees. Um, does support SFD Global, X Europe, and Auto for XPs uh, at the moment out of the box. Um, claims to be the most realistic flora for available for X-Plane uh, and includes upscale Ultra HD and does the textures do upscale to Ultra HD as well. Um, 
as I said, doesn't seem to be really hugely shining out, like shouting out for a lot of stuff. So, and the screenshots are fairly bland, fairly basic, but the key point probably does that it does include seasonal variations. That's probably the big part that it does support because um, they do show off some winter as winter sort of and winter and summer tr trees. So it's probably the big one for their one, uh, which mean, which would suggest, I can't guarantee it, but would suggest it is compatible um, with uh, Sam's season. So don't know for sure, sure, but it does suggest that it does. But if you all want to pick this one up and give this one a try, this one's available over the xplane.org store, coming in at 10 US dollars or your regional equivalent available now. Moving out of X Plane 11 and moving into the prepared V4 world uh, with a release this week from Gaffa Simulations of King Shaka International Airport or KSIA, which is the main airport serving Durban in South Africa. Now, this airport opened in 20, uh, 20, 2009, either late 2009, early 2010. Uh, replacing the previous Durban International Airport, um, uh, but it does, but it because it did uh, start adopting the, but it, sorry, sorry, it's opened in 2010. Sorry, yeah, it did. It was scheduled for 2009, but it opened in 2010, uh, and uh, replaced Durban International Airport and took over its previous uh, ICAO call sign of Foxtrot Alpha Delta November. Um, now, in terms of content about this add-on, there's not a lot. It's they sort of keep this very quiet. There's not a lot I can really tell you about it. Um, from looking at the content, it looks like an. Um, I can't even tell you when it's like what time it's modeled off. It looks like it's got all the major buildings. It's got your jetways um, support. It does seem to support. Um, HD light, HDR lighting uh, and full support for night lighting as well. Um, can't tell if it's supporting PBR texturing or not. I think it does, but I can't tell exactly. So there's very little information uh, from Gaffa Simulations, unfortunately, about this other than the fact that it's been released. So uh, I guess I'm going to say bye beware on that one. So yeah, but the thing is, is that there's very little, the, the Gaffa Simulations are one of the few companies that actually produce any airports for Africa. Um, so, you know, we'll take what we can get, I suppose, is the way you can get it. So if you do want to add this South African destination to your flight travel plans, you're looking at paying about 20 US dollars or your original equivalent available now from Sim Market. Continuing on with more prepared V4 scenery releases, uh, the guys of WF Scenery Studio released their latest release this week of Nanshing Lukao International Airport, uh, which is the uh, main airport servicing Nanshing, uh, capital of Zhangzhou province, um, which is uh, which is serviced on the Yangtze River Delta area. Um, again, unfortunately, uh, so not a lot of detail this one, but this one, uh, so I do have a bit, oh, sorry, I do have a bit more detail about this airport here. Uh, so we've got full implementation of PBR textures, full support for rain, ground, uh, rain reflections and water, liquid reflections as well. Full support for animated jetways, uh, and, uh, visual docking guidance systems, both via SODE, full implementation of dynamic lighting as well, as well as custom clutter and manual place vehicles, animated vehicles around the airport. As I said, uh, it also includes low visibility runway lights, up-to-date ground markings as the airport appears during 2019, uh, and it includes seasonal texture set as well. So this is, so guys, you know, just a quick shout back out to Gaffer Simulations. This is how you do a press release. You actually say what's in your in your airport. Anyway, moving on. Uh, so yes, if you wanted to add this Chinese airport to your collection, you're looking at buying about 26 US dollars or your original equivalent available now from Sim Market. Continuing on with scenery releases for Prepared V4, the guys over at Orbix uh, released their rendition of Leeds Bradford Airport uh, this week. Uh, so, uh, so this one is a it's, 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 it's airport, you know, sort of uh, about seven miles uh, north of Leeds, about nine miles from Brad Bradford. So, hence the Leeds Bradford Airport name. Uh, so, it's a very it's a, a very busy airport, uh, providing a lot of seasonal traffic to various holiday destinations in the Mediterranean. And goes a bit quieter uh, during the west rest of the year, sort of just doing sort of smaller sort of point to point stuff. Uh, now this is a full PBR uh, uh, textures supported um, airport, including full accurate representation of all airport buildings as it appears in twenty nine late twenty nineteen. Uh, full support of HD textures, as I said, PBR ground polygons uh, includes highly detailed PBR great ground service equipment and clutter models as well. Sixty centimeter ortho photo imagery of the airport and surrounding area, custom matched to work 
with um, Orbix's true, not only or their True Earth Global, um, so sorry, True Earth uh, Great Britain Central. Uh, they also support for uh, EU England with seasonal textures. So if you didn't switch over to True Earth GB and you're still using the old uh, Europe uh, EU Eng FDX England, uh, you will actually get seasonal support for that one as well, which is kind of cool. Uh, includes full uh, high definition light HDR support of lighting as well, uh, and uh, custom static aircraft models as well. SOD animated jetways. Uh, also includes for you helicopter fans as well. Includes the EGHP heliport, which is about a kilometre north of the main Leeds Bradford Airport as well. So there's a bit in there for you frantic palm tree fans, and uh, falls in a slew of. Um, custom points of interest for the surrounding cities as well so not bad for everyone this is coming in standard price for airport for these guys so about 22 us dollars or your original equivalent available now on from orbix direct gives you on with esp it was with prepared v4 releases uh this time a freeware release actually so this one uh, comes to us from simmer's home uh so this is the release of um malta complete from simmer's home so um this is a pretty epic project, this one, and I'm really impressed that it's coming out for free as well. So I just want to highlight everyone, guys, this is a freeware or donationware, uh, this one. So this includes um, a full rendition of all three main, uh, all three islands of Malta. So the island of Malta itself, plus the smaller islands of Camino and Gozo are both included as well. Full coverage of all three islands with custom terrain mesh. Uh, sorry, not custom terrain, it's just well, standard terrain mesh. Um, they do recommend the pilot's terrain mesh. For, it includes high resolution ground photos of 50 centimeter per pixel of the full of all of the islands with the main airport of Luqua uh, and done in 25 centimeter per pixel resolution. So absolutely incredible this one. We've got two seasons um, for this one, which is corresponds with the actual seasons of the Mediterranean. Uh, updated uh, vector data, including coastlines, beaches, and soft transitions as well. Uh, full support of working traffic, uh, suitable for VFR as well. So as I said, a lot of um, all major cities have been modeled, all major industrial complexes uh, all done as well. Includes full working road traffic, huge number of points of interest, all included from all of the islands to make sure that your VFR or helicopter flying experience is gonna be incredible. Um, also includes um, a fictitious just water uh, runways in uh, just east of Freeport, complete in rendition of Freeport as well. Uh, also includes the as I said, major all done with the letter, with all major points of interest, and the full port is all modelled as well. Two both heliports on uh, the, so the heliport on Gozo and the heliport on Camino are fully modelled and accurately done as well. Uh, includes static ships as well as animated ship traffic as well. The airport of Lucra Airport Airport itself has been done as it appears during 2019. Uh, includes updated um, ground models uh, and all optional all runway lighting is done as well in uh, full HD lighting. Full support PBR modeling, uh, so PBR texturing for the models as well. Slew of stuff. It's just absolutely nuts. The stuff that's in this is like, I'm just I'm running out of breath. Just going. This is just amazing, and this is all freeware as well. Like as I said, or well, donationware. So uh, you do have there's a bit of a registration process to go through to get it. Um, so I'll pop the link in the description down below. Uh, so to be fully registered and accessed on, on the Simmers Home Forum as be able to get it. But yeah, guys, if you do love it, think about throwing a few bucks their way as well because it looks. Absolutely amazing. There you go. Available now for free. All right, and rounding out the ESP platform releases this week. So, well, actually, the only true ESP platform release this week uh, from D uh, Giovetsky Designs this week. And uh, Belgio, I hope I got it right this week. All right. Uh, so, this is the release of Krakow X version 3. Um, so once again, sort of Yevatsky's uh, designs come out with just rebooted and just uh, blown everybody away as always. So he's updated the airport layout as it appears in uh, at the end of 2019. Uh, he's updated a few things as well. Um, he's added in um, an additional airport. So this, the main airport is EPKK Krakow. He's also added in uh, EPKC, which is a nearby um, sort of GA airfield as well. He's also added in uh, the Polish Aviation Museum has been added in as well with all of its uh, custom town models, included a full update of the Krakow, uh, Krakow Old Town uh, models as it will be done as well, all with updated landmarks and all new ortho photos for this uh, area as well. Uh, and they've updated, he's updated the main terminal as well, completely rebuilt it from scratch, including new jetways, new ground polys, marks, lightings, and airport surroundings all done as well. So 
wow, it's awesome. Uh, the other thing that I have to sh sh call out as well, because I still love the fact that he does this, um, is that his releases, you buy once, it supports all of the ESP platforms, the FSX, FSX Team Edition, prepared in all its flavors, and he is the only developer that is still supporting Flight Sim World. I know it's a dead sim, but I really am impressed that he actually supports it. That's awesome. Keep being awesome, dude. Uh, and it's actually a really good indicator to show how a very good developer can keep supporting multiple platforms, even in this age of 64-bit, when other developers are dropping stuff left, right, and center. So, I did. Anyway. Now, a couple of things on pricing. So, if you are a new user to uh, the uh, Krakow Airport, uh, then you're looking at paying about $24 US um, from your favorite flight sim retailer. If you're a pre-existing owner of a previous edition of this airport, um, then you can get a, there is discounted upgrade price. You pay about two thirds, so you pay around about 18 bucks, uh, $18, $19 to get the updated version. Um, just uh, head over to your uh, original purchase platform venue for your earlier version to find out how to get your upgrade price. So that one is available now from your favorite flight sim retailer. Moving out of the flight sim world and moving into the world of the permanent way, the guys over at Duftile Games and Train Sim World uh, sort of released a new route and train this week uh, with their release of their Canadian National Oakville subdivision, the Hamilton Oakville route released this week for Train Sim World. Um, so this is a area of sort of going through is a huge train network of about uh, 41 kilometers um, going around through going through the area around Lake Ontario and going through a variety of big industries through there uh, so it actually goes there's a lot of freight trains a lot of freight so very freight focused uh, tasks come through here um, using a calling through a variety of industries supporting a variety of industries and um, so they said there's a not me going through about here. I thought it actually went through a bit more of this and I made my notes and it just says industry. Sorry about that. I thought it was more detail about that. Anyway, um, yeah, so it includes uh, the, as I said, so the main track route between, uh, of the, through the Octo Oak, Oakville subdivision between Hamilton and Oakville is 41 kilometers. Also includes two, some major rail yards as well with all their different side side sidings as well includes two trains included with this one so you get the gp9rm diesel locomotive and the gp38-2 uh, both in canadian national liveries you also get a selection of rolling stock as well as the track and you get six detailed in scenarios for the route as well along with a hundred different jobs to be able to complete during your free modes options as well so this one's coming in pretty standard price for this standard price for this coming in at 30 us dollars or your original equivalent available now on steam and then for their main train simulator franchise uh, duffer games also released their new uh, route add-on the livonia division munro to Mon uh, livonia division munro subdivision route was added this week which is uh, from the famed boyu areas uh, river counties of louisiana uh, so made famous in various movies and various TV shows over the years, uh, the uh, bayou and uh, sort of the, the swamps of Louisiana. Uh, so this is a really large route, this one actually. So you've got all nearly 100 miles of track are actually included this one. Um, and this one is actually used one of the busiest routes for Union Pacific uh, in, the, in, in America. Now, it includes the major uh, train yards at both Alexandria and Monroe are included as part of this model, as part of this one, as well as uh, the rolling hills and uh, the interesting uh, swamp style countryside of the Louis Louisiana bayous. So this comes through, you can go through and actually do a slew of content. There's a lot of, uh, you get seven career scenarios are included in this one, but you get a lot of trains with this one. So you actually get uh, four locomotives. So you get the GE ES44AC and then the Electromotive uh, SD70, GP38-2 and SD40-2. These are locomotives are all included, all with their Union Pacific colors, along with a slew of different uh, rolling stock are included with this one as well. So uh, you get a lot of bang for your buck for this one, especially considering it's coming in for the standard price of 40 US dollars or your original equivalent available now on Steam. And uh, changing the tack completely uh, with a very different, with a simulator of a very different kind. Uh, we have saw the release this week of Sea Fishing Simulator on Steam. Um, literally, like the, the 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 feature list of this is very little. And I was doing some research on this one. So the feature list basically says uh, fish from boat 
or the shore for many different sea fish species from the North Sea. Uh, Real-time day-night cycle, dynamic weather, 20 different fi over 20 different fish species, beach, pier, deep sea, and wreck fishing, and advanced ocean. Um, I did a bit of digging on this. Um, so this is a VR title, but requires a gamepad to see the play. However, I did a bit of digging on this. Um, this is basically an Android port. So the developer originally released this title for Android, and available on the Play Store. And it looks like that they've ported it over and slapped VR on it and released it on Steam for three times the price. Um, as I said, the, the, like literally, I just told you the entire like description and features list. Like that's it. There's very little about this. The website hasn't been updated for a long time, uh, for about five years. So, um, buy beware is really all I'm going to say on this one. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much about it. So if you do pick this one up, you're looking at paying 10 bucks for this one, available now on Steam. That's all I got to say. And rounding out the Nova app for this week, I saw from the guys over at Playway, it seems we saw their latest in their something mechanic simulator. We saw Tank Mechanic Simulator released this week. Um, but this one's an interesting take on the genre, actually. So, um... This one puts you... So, okay, so it's in its description, it says, Tank Mechanic Simulator is a game about World War II tanks, their crews, and their contribution to military history. Um, it actually poses a couple of interesting things that make it... That do kind of separate it from the traditional, more mechanic spin-off, simulator spin-offs that we've seen in the past. Um, this one puts you as a tank museum owner, and you actually have to go recover... You have to go search for, and dig up, and recover like old tanks from dig sites or in old battlefields, bring them back to your workshop and then work on them. So there's actually an interesting, there's a few more elements here which actually make it kind of a bit more interesting. Um, now you get the standard sort of experiences of, you know, you've got to clean it, sand it, paint it, prime it, find parts, whatever, all that kind of stuff that you get with a mechanic simulator. But the fact that you've actually sort of go into the world, you've got to go through, you've got to try and do research, you've got to try and figure out where these tanks are, and you actually have to uh, dig them out and uncover them with a fully uh, set up day-night cycle and excavate them out. That's an interesting take on it as well. So, yeah, kind of interesting. Um, not sure how it's going to go. Could be interesting. Could flop. Could work well. Not sure. Could be interesting. See how we go. Looking at 20 US dollars or your regional equivalent available now on Steam. And as I said, that rounds out the Nova right for this week. Thank you very much for joining me. Don't forget, as always, to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this video and want to see more. And of course, you can always support myself and my work and all the work that I do to bring this uh, this program and all my other uh, videos to you guys by supporting us on Patreon. Head over to patreon.com forward slash NovaWing24 to find out how. All right, folks, thanks very much for watching. Take care, safe guys to all, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.